Bienvenidos, people. Today we are in Calea, the Centre Commercial. Uh, we are just going to walk and explore this little town. So I will just film around and so you can see what they are what kind of shops they have and um, yeah mainly shops and restaurants and stuff they have a lot of like souvenirs of course this light is too much. Want to borrow my sunglasses? Yeah, a lot of Calea themed stuff. Hola. So, we scored a magnet. I mean, this this city is not so big, so you can probably spend maybe one or two hours here, and then uh, you have seen it all, because it's mainly shops, shops, and shops. And of course, many Barca, Barcelona shirts. Uh, I love Barcelona shirts. Magnet. And I, I actually saw also a lot of like mar marijuana shops. Damn! All you do is smoke weed. I have actually no idea if it's legal here because I don't smoke uh, so but if you're interested in these kind of things you can get marijuana Hola. Is this 
a museum or what is it? Uh, I have no idea. But that is definitely a library. We are here. So in front of us we have the church of Kalea. have a closer look I think it's uh, close today. some kind of festival going on if you are in the neighborhood just go to the to the website I show you it's, it's on the banner seems like a folklore folklore kind of uh, festival so very local could be something nice if you like these kind of uh, cultural things They also have a lot of like these kind of alleyways so if you're here don't forget to go in the alleyways Let me know for next time if you want me to go and what kind of shops I should go.
uh, what I was saying. Is cannabis legal here or not? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. a bunch of stores closing so they are probably gonna have a siesta now which is very typical in Spain Eso se es dupla. I also see a lot of like tattoo shops here. Me personally, I wouldn't 
really buy clothing and stuff in uh, these kind of areas. I would go to the more like original city centers, you know, which where you have like Sara and stuff and all these kind of things. But for like swimming clothes and uh, just simple pants, you could uh, definitely go here. Yeah, as you can see, some things are closed. I think it really depends on the on the store owner themselves if they uh, will take a nap or not because some are open some are not so it's really up to the store owner I think Some sapatos. Muy mucho, very much. So here is where I'm doing my shopping at Spar because it's close to my hotel. Here you have some sunglasses. And don't uh, ask me if this, is a, if this is an original store, but it could be. For the ladies, So there is actually my hotel.
uh, later on when I go back I will show you my uh, hotel so if you want to visit like this area then I would recommend to go there and then you can uh, yeah stay there they have uh, nice people and stuff so oh yeah welcome to Kalea Beach let's walk a bit again so we can see uh, yeah how it looks it's totally totally not busy not many people but I will just show you around a bit and then uh, yeah you can see how it uh, how it is here as you can see it's almost empty just a couple people Here's, here's the seaside. There are a couple of like benches and stuff. <laughs> and you cannot see in a distance, but you can uh, rent. Uh, jet skis and stuff so that would be super nice but yeah like I told you before I'm here uh, with family so I cannot do the normal stuff that I would do you know I like a little bit of uh, adventure so I would definitely rent some like jet skis and stuff and maybe go on a boat ride or uh, some kind of speedboat kind of ride but uh, yeah just let me know in the comments uh, where should I go next like Spain somewhere else in Spain now I'm in like the Costa Brava uh, area so you can see in my other videos I went to a couple of places uh, Calea here uh, Costa de Mar uh, Pals Tibidabo uh, like Barcelona city so yeah let me know in the comments also like I said before my plan is to like learn a better Spanish because I would like to travel to um, uh, Latin America so you know like Colombia and stuff and these kind of places but Colombia and Mexico are like high on the list basically so yeah let me know in the comments what are your your, your top locations your favorite locations let's check on some scenery this sand really hurts <laughs> my feet like a lot of stones and stuff as you can see 
trying to find a way to not step on the on the stones if you don't like super overcrowded beaches then this spot is definitely something where you where you should go because I mean now it's very extremely uh, not busy because yeah it's probably like it's a Monday you know it's a working day for a lot of people well in Spain themselves and I'm not sure if it's high season you know it's supposed to be I think you know it's like first of uh, July now so yeah we'll see just uh, yeah do your own research but like I said if you don't like super crowded beaches then uh, go to this place I'm pretty sure it's packed on yeah from like Wednesday on and stuff but definitely in the weekend because all the local people uh, yeah like to relax you know Spanish people are very in my opinion they are very chill you know tranquilo if I say it correctly they just uh, enjoy life don't worry about a lot of things I mean the only maybe like negative point which I hear a lot is is there there are a lot of uh, cartaristas pickpockets mostly in Barcelona city I think but I mean yeah in my opinion it's everywhere but uh, yeah I just hear it a lot uh, that is going on in Barcelona come visit this country and uh, yeah explore I mean that that should be uh, everybody's number one thing in life you know just yeah don't work all the time I mean uh, of course it's needed to, to earn your money but you also need to consider and enjoy life so keep that in mind you know look at what you're missing not much else to uh, to show here they have just uh, like on the coast or on the on the on the left side of the beach they have uh, all your uh, comida stuff all your food stuff so if you want to have a drink or have a, have a meal or dinner there is many options just uh, go away from the water to the top and uh, you can get your your food and sir and drinks cervezas whatever you want okay guys so I think this is it from the beach I will uh, as last show uh, yeah the front location of my uh, of my hotel and that's the the end of this Spanish trip because there will definitely be more more Spanish trips but uh, yeah different locations and uh, maybe in the future again uh, Barcelona because I didn't see any everything I wanted to go to the uh, Montser Montserrat uh, mountains and stuff but I didn't had the chance to uh, to do that as you if you saw my other videos you uh, you saw that I went 
to the Sagrada Familia and some other nice places in uh, yeah, the Costa Brava and the Barcelona area. In the distance you can see the the Calea sign. I'm actually like that. I walked all the way from from the other side uh, to the other side or the end or the beginning, I don't know. To to show this sign. came all the way from there okay guys we made it let's go to the to the top if some kind of there aqua park I think you can do some kind of water activity there but uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit sunny now, but still clouded, so it's still not super, super busy. And there are some people, there are some more people uh, on this side than on, on my side where I am staying. But yeah, let's go to the top. some kind of private beach there like nude beach so let's not go there with all the grannies and uh, grandpas it's not uh, safe for anybody yeah so this is it here's the view over the beach of Calea Okay guys, now I'm really out. Peace. Okay guys, so as promised, here's the hotel uh, that I'm staying. Hotel for uh, I will put in the description the details so you can find it online yourself. And this is the inside of the hotel as you can see it's very like neat and clean it's a four or five star hotel but don't expect too much of it you know but it's it's good to see <laughs> 